Oh, we're feeling pretty good. We had kind of a slow start, but um, last few weeks we've really taken a step back and worked on fundamentals. And uh, Friday night's results have been a lot more, you know, a lot more to our liking. I know you guys played a tough schedule right off the bat. So can you kind of take me through uh, the games and the improvements and uh, what you've seen over those seven games? Sure. You know, we started with Stanbury. And, you know, and they've been in the Dome the last three years. You know, they're a very tough team, tough up front. And, uh, you know, we, we got them kind of out of their option game a little bit, but then they, you know, they were able to power the ball on us some. So they, they had some success. Then we go to Rockport, and it was like a shootout, like 88 to 80. And they were surprisingly able to throw the ball a lot better than they had. And, um, you know, that kind of caught us off guard some. And uh, so we lost those two games. Then we played East Atchison, and we were able to, able to get those guys. And then um, we played St. Joe Christian, Who's a, who's a really good team as well, and um, that was a close game, and they were able to pull it out from us. And then we played – and we played a really tough Worth County team, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, they were much improved this year, so they were able to get us. But then we went to um, – went down to Greenfield, and like I said, at that point we really were like, okay, what do we got, what do we got to fix to get things better? So we kind of changed up how we were doing practice, and we focused more on fundamentals, and, and we've had some, you know, like some small coach changes during practice and things. And, um, you know, from that point on, we've been able to see a lot of success because we were able to, you know, get through Greenfield a lot, you know, pretty good. And then, then we played Mountain City last week, and that was probably our most complete game we've played all year. And we were able to execute well, and, um, you know, and we were able to get that one as well. Tell me about the uh, year two of this Northwest Nottoway. I don't know if it's a co-op or what you actually call it, but um, – the you know you and coach reeves kind of coming together and this, this is an interesting situation to me at least on mondays here you're doing film here he's doing film in uh, bj yeah it's kind of weird uh, this week uh, you know we've been traveling like you know so much all the time back and forth and uh, we, you know today we just thought you know hey let's just watch film together because we were supposed to have a jv game mm -hmm. and it got canceled and so we thought well let's just watch film and then we'll have a coaches meeting tonight and make sure everything's on the right page headed for albany but um you know, it's good. It's it's improved from a year ago. We've, um, I mean, I know our record hasn't quite yet, but I mean, just overall, it's improved. Um, we're co-opt in this sport and then track, and then our girls can share some sports that so they can go back and forth. But um, it's gone, it's gone really well. You know, Coach Reeves is a good guy to work with. We work together. Um, he does a lot of the offense stuff. I do a lot of the defense things, and then make sure that all the components go together and whatnot. So it's um, it's it's pretty fun. Well, we got to talk about uh, the big happening this past Friday with with uh, Kobe coming uh, becoming the third Missouri high school football player to throw for over ten thousand yards. You had him your first two years with North Nottaway, and then combined there with the Northwest Nottaway and Coach Reeves, kind of put his little spin on the offense there. Uh, I mean, you got to be pretty good to throw ten thousand yards, but you also got to give him the opportunity and some players around him. Absolutely, you know, um, Kobe. When we when we co opt, you know he. He got a few extra weapons to work with, and some other, and some more linemen. And Coach Reeves, you know, he shortens up some of the pass game and gets the ball out quick, and does a lot of different things that maybe we didn't do quite as much when we were apart. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, we we as North Nottoway, we used to run the ball a little bit more than that, but we still threw it quite a bit. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a tremendous deal, and Kobe's done a great job. He's improved each year as we've gone through everything, and you know, it's just it's you know, I've been I've been um, blessed to be able to be his coach. What what would you say he you know makes him kind of the quarterback is that he is you know with, like with Coach Reeves you like you mentioned the quick the quick pass and that's there's a lot of decision making there. Oh yeah, and I think just uh, I don't know, Kobe's pretty confident in his decisions and things out there, and he's able to get rid of the ball quick. And if you know things break down, he's able to buy time and then still look downfield to make a throw rather than just you know getting flustered and taking off running. You know that's able to that's helped us a lot in different in different times and different years. Um, he's just. I don't know. He's just been, you know, his footwork and everything's been really well. He just improved tremendously each year that we've worked together. Coming into the year, I'm sure you knew this was a this 10,000 was a possibility. Or when did when did that uh, kind of uh, come to your mind? Or when did, when were you aware of it? Um, kind of at the end of last year, we thought, you know, I said, man, you know, he threw for like 4,000 something yards last year. So we thought, man, if this if that happens again, you know, my goodness, he'll be in the you know in the top rankings of Missouri all time. So. Really, we looked at it last year and thought, wow, maybe that could happen. But, you know, you still you know, want to keep everything focused on the team, but it's still a great, you know, tremendous accomplishment for something like that to happen. Did you guys uh, – I mean, how did you commemorate? Did you do anything last week? Like you said, it's all about the team, but, again, that's an amazing individual accomplishment too. Yeah, like, so we gave him a game ball at the end of last week and everyone signed it and we filled it out. And then I'm sure we'll do something at the end of the year when we get together, um, you know, for the banquet and whatnot. But for now, we just gave him a team ball and – you know, congratulations and took a few pictures. 
Albany is the opponent, so I mean the schedule the schedule doesn't get any uh, easier at all. And uh, looking at some film of them today, so tell me what what do you see with them? Well, you know they run an option game, and you know formation wise they do some different things we haven't seen in a while. And so we're going to be very very disciplined and um, you know read our keys and execute well defensively. And then offensively, you know on film they've shown a lot of man coverage and stuff. So we're going to have to you know get off our guys and get open and um, you know execute offensively like we can. Can you speak to the defensive aspect with a, with an offense as uh, quick striking as the as that one? I mean, defense can be out there for a while. Yeah, and, and our defense usually is. You know, I look on each week on our films. You know, we run like probably, you know, our full game length that we have is probably like 170 something plays usually in our games. You know, but anywhere between 150 to 170. And some of the other games, you know, they'll be 100 to 125 usually things like that. So yeah, our defense are out there for a lot of plays and. You know, conditioning-wise, we've got to be ready to go, and, you know, we've got to be physical and tackle. And I think that's where the last few weeks has picked up, where tackling's improved tremendously. With the improvements that uh, your guys have made here, these, as you mentioned, these last couple of weeks, I guess, uh, looking down the road, moving, you know, the final several weeks here and into the playoffs, what, uh, what are you setting in terms of a, a team goal, or is maybe that just kind of week to week? It's kind of week to week. You know, usually, you know, we look at the – you know, the grand scheme of things, we would like to get back to our district championship game and then go from there and see what happens. You know, um, we want to compete each week and, you know, see what we can do. I always Every week I always talk to our guys about, hey, you know, we need to reach our potential this week. We need to strive to be excellent every week in whatever we're doing. So, you know, hopefully if we can do that and we'll see, kind of see what happens as we go. Coach, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, coming in my freshman year, I wasn't even going to play, really. If at all, I was going to play receiver with my brother, quarterback. And then uh, he got hurt the third game. And then I had to play from then. And uh, this, I don't know, it's just amazing being able to accomplish this and having all the people to throw to that I've had. Yeah, like uh, Coach mentioned, you've had some real nice uh, weapons around you these last several years. Can you can you talk about those guys a little bit? I mean, the one obviously that comes to mind from last year is Trevor Meyer, and then this year Jacob Cordell. And you have a lot, you have a few more weapons this year too. Yeah, Trevor was pretty amazing. He could catch the ball, take it to the house about any time he wanted to, with the moves that he had. And then Jake can go up and get the ball, run people over. And the other guys have a lot of speed and can catch very well. You mentioned uh, how you kind of took over the quarterback position there in your freshman year. Can you talk about the offense you ran compared to the one you run now? Is it even uh, is it kind of like night and day? Nah, they're pretty similar. They had different play calls, but most of the plays are pretty much the same. Now we just get the ball out a little bit quicker, but most of the time it's still throwing the ball at least 70% of the time. More than that, though, right? Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell me about this, the quick decisions you have to make. What you, you know, you come to the line. What you do? You have cues that you read from, or what's, or, or is there? Is it, is it just called and you have to run that player? What's? Well, tell me about all that. I usually, Reeves calls a play, and I, it's either a pre-snap read or a read right after the ball is snapped. It's a lot of quick decisions, and if I make the wrong one, the whole play can go wrong. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to do their part for me to make my read, but most of the time they make it pretty easy for me. Mm -hmm. Was this is it a little easier this year compared to last year when you you know first time out of this under in his system? Uh, it's a little bit easier. Last year at the end of the season, I started to begin to know everything that he was trying to do and see through his eyes, and then this year it's gotten a lot easier. I'm a lot more relaxed in the pocket, I think. Uh, I'll kind of ask you the same thing I asked Coach. You know, when when were you kind of aware of the the ten thousand thing? When when did you first become aware of something like that? Well, my dad uh, told me, like, the first game of the season, how far away, and then every game from then he'd let me know afterwards how much closer I was getting and getting. So. Is it your dad or your brother named Brandon? My dad. Okay. Hey, he's made us aware as well, so we appreciate that. Um, tell me about uh, this, se this season. I mean, uh, you know, you started out 1-4. and four, You've got two straight wins. What's been, uh, uh, what's been the difference these last two weeks, maybe? Uh, it's confidence. Everybody – I think people gained a lot of confidence in the Greenfield game and then it carried to this week and we've been having a lot more fun as a team, getting along a lot better and everything seemed to work out. Albany, uh, I know you're getting watching some film there. What do you what do you see with that team? Uh, I know you're always looking at it from a quarterback perspective too, but uh, the other side of the ball as well. What do you see from, uh, from, from Albany as a whole? They like to run the ball a lot. 
against us passing the ball. Then last year was, I think, 88-68 was the score, so it was a real high scoring. So this year will probably be, hopefully it's a lot better on defense. But When you play in games like that, like that one and then also the Rockport game, what's, I mean, what are you guys thinking? It's, that's, that's, that's crazy. I mean, just playing offense, it takes, it seems like you're standing there forever. Then you go out and we score in two minutes or less and then stand there again. So it, it takes a while, but it's fun to be part of. Kobe, uh, I want to say congratulations on a uh, major individual accomplishment. We appreciate you talking today, and uh, thanks a lot. Thank you.